So, thank you, Eva Feldmann, for participating in our daily recap, okay. the first recap of this first day of the Congress. Uh, you had a plenary lecture today. I did. Uh, and it was a fantastic lecture. Oh, I've thank uh, you. been there. Uh, it's an important topic on polyneuropathies on a global scale. Um, and uh, may I ask you, what is the most important thing you want to have our listeners to learn about what you have what I've told said us today? today? Yes. Okay, well, that's a wonderful question, actually. I think that uh, for me, preparing that lecture made me realize the depth of our obesity epidemic, our diabetes epidemic, and how the two have intersected to really cause a major uh, epidemic of, of neuropathy, of diabetes and neuropathy, such that if you look at the statistics I presented, at least 50% almost of every population globally where the individual has diabetes, they have neuropathy. And then it also made me realize how common diabetic foot ulcers are and how they are really associated with a great deal of mortality. So understanding the burden of the problem also I think for us as neurologists should be a call to action mm -hmm. that we need not only to treat but we need to try to prevent. Mm -hmm. And so I spent a lot of time in my lecture talking about the correct diets, exercise regimens, and what we can do to actually prevent diabetic polyneuropathy and diabetic foot ulcers. And my last point would be, it's important that neuropathy and foot ulcers are the leading predictor of mortality and diabetes. So we as neurologists must become actively involved. That is a strong call for action. A we very have to take strong up. call for action, as I said today. I'd yes. like to see us move from what I call sick care uh -huh. of patients to well care. So from always talking about treatment to talking truly about prevention. And I think it's critical that we move forward that way. And certainly what I discussed for the peripheral nervous system holds true for the brain. We and others have great uh, data showing, and there's many investigators have now shown, that brain health also is markedly affected by obesity and diabetes. So this call for action is not only for the peripheral nervous system, but for the central nervous system for brain health, which is one of the mottos of this convention this year. It is, and this is an important message to transfer. What other lectures uh, could you follow up today, and is there anything that was stimulating you, lessons learned eventually? Yeah, I did learn. I did learn some new lessons today. I, um, I gave a talk in a session on cognition, and I personally spoke on, uh, again, the metabolic syndrome, diabetes, and obesity, actually in animal models and how changing diets would inform us in humans. But I heard some very interesting talks about large cohorts of patients that are being followed throughout the world from different countries where they're looking at exciting new biomarkers, plasma biomarkers mm -hmm. for Alzheimer's disease. And so some very new findings of looking at different forms of phosphotau in the plasma to help us follow that disease. I also had a very interesting talk from a gentleman uh, from uh, Nigeria, I believe, from Africa, who talked about the effect of uh, mental health issues in adolescence and how that actually affected later on cognition. So I learned a lot about biomarkers uh, and also about behavior and, and depression. There was a very interesting talk on depression and cognition. It was a great, great morning. <laughs> and then this afternoon, I went to a session on new therapeutics, small molecules, RNA, uh, gene therapy and the development of small molecules, lots of new exciting things going on in neurology. So we're no longer the specialty of untreatable diseases. We're really now becoming the specialty of really treatable diseases. Yeah, this is true for so quite a number of diseases, yes. also these advances in dementia, as I said. Yes. There are new biomarkers coming up. Uh, and th this is quite interesting, of course, to see in a worldwide conference where you see so many different, yes. uh, let's say, ends coming together, researchers that are working in their fields. 
and exchanging. Yeah, what I found so exciting today is, you know, I go to a lot of conferences in the United States, but the global aspect of this conference. So I had lunch today with a woman from uh, Morocco, a woman from Turkey, and a woman from Thailand. They were all young and very excited about being here and understanding the global perspective of the different disorders that they're interested in. So I would highly recommend this conference, particularly to young people, so they can understand the depth and breadth of all the neurology that's going, you know, that's occurring in all the research across the globe. I'm certainly learning a lot about different countries every hour at this conference. That's quite uh, good also to mention the young neurologists. I think this is quite a development of the World Federation with the young neurologists now being active, also participating with sessions. We have several sessions of young neurologists yes. here. So uh, I think this is a very important development in the future. Oh, yeah, yes. exactly. They are the future. And yes. it's wonderful to see how interested they are and how yes. this is really a perfect home for them to come to uh, at our meeting to understand globally what's occurring, uh, to, to not only educate, uh, uh, to get educated, but also educate us, the older neurologists, about their feelings and what they think is the best way forward and what they think is new and what they find exciting. We need to listen to them, and we are. Super. Uh, what about tomorrow? Are there sessions you're looking forward to? Well, I am. I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow. Number one, there's a, a morning session on COVID-19, and I have seen a lot of neurologic complications of COVID-19, so I'm very interested in getting an update. And then very interested also in the presidential some, uh, lecture that's going to be given by our president, Professor Grisald. He's going to talk about the burden uh, globally of neurologic disorders, and it's so great. And our understanding of it, I still think, is not as great as it needs to be, and mm -hmm. so I'm very much looking forward to that. And then in the afternoon, there's several sessions I want to go to. There's great session on clinical biomarkers in mm -hmm. Lou Gehrig's disease. There's also a very interesting session on treating pain and neuropathy. So I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot tomorrow, so stay tuned. I may grab you in the hall and tell you, Walter, what a great day it was. <laughs> thank you. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, and thank you for uh, asking me these questions. I'm really having a wonderful time here in Montreal. Super. Thank you. <laughs>